Hey, Temecula. Okay, so I have a market update for you, your monthly market update from the numbers in September. Normally I do Temecula and Marietta together, but this month I'm actually breaking it out. So I wanna share with you in the month of September, kind of from May to now, um, what has happened with numbers. So let's start in with the, the median sales price. Uh, so in May, which was the month that interest rates started to adjust, it was kind of in the middle of the month, right? So, and they've continued to rise since then. So really, I wanna show how that's impacting the market for you. So in May, our median sales price was 739. Then in June, it was 7.30. In July, it was 7.40. In August, we took a hit. It was 6.97,450. And then last month, we ended out the month at 7.26,500. Now, that was a 2% reduction from May, but it was a 7% year-over-year increase. And each of those months, we actually had a year-over-year -year increase, but as you can see, the prices have been adjusting downward overall. So the market is softening month over month, um, but you still have equity compared to last, you know, build of equity compared to last year. Now let's look at inventory and days on market. So for new listings, new things hitting the market, I've been hearing people go, oh, you know, I'm seeing so much new inventory hit the market. That's actually not true. So in May, we had 188 new listings. In June, we had 231. In July, we had 190. In August, 168. And in September, only actually 133 new listings. So uh, uh, we're actually overall seeing a decrease of new listings hit the market. But what's interesting is that we are seeing an increase of active listings sitting on the market. So in May, we had 242 active listings. In June, 337. In July, 365. In August, 366. And then in September, 377. So you can see a steady increase month over month of listings still sitting on the market. So it's not that there's a flood of new inventory hitting, coming in, it's just that homes are sitting on the market longer, but we actually have less listings hitting the market. Now our median days on market as a testament to that um, of what I was saying, in May, it was only seven days. In June, it rose to 10. In July, it rose to 14. In August, it rose to 20. And then September, it stood still at that 20 again. So it's taking longer for homes to sell. So what does that mean for you? Well, as a seller, that means that you need to be patient and it's important to price right and that it's gonna take a little bit longer for your home to sell and that's okay, don't panic. As a buyer, it does not mean, oh, there's gonna be a ton of new listings hitting the market. That's not what I'm seeing. Um, but you have more time to review the things that you go out and see uh, and to be able to make a decision to make sure that you are writing the offer on the one that you're really excited about. So there you go. There's your market update for Temecula. If you have any questions, you know where to reach me. Talk to you soon.